What's up guys, welcome to a new video and today I will show you the movies that I picked up in January, February, March and April and why 4 months in one video well in January and February I didn't bought a lot of movies in March I did not have the time uh, to make an update video at the end of April I still did not have the time to make an update video and now in May I have enough to show you and I have time to make an update video so today I will show you everything I bought in those four months. And I will show you the movies in the order that I bought them. And the first movie I bought this year was the German steelbook from the Avengers. It's a glossy finished steelbook and on the front we have the Avengers logo. This area here is debossed and we have a border debossing. The light in my room is not that good, but I hope you can see everything well. On the spine we have the characters, yeah, it's a Marvel steelbook. The back cover, this is the complete outside. And on the inside we have three discs, we have uh, the bonus Blu-ray, we have the 3D Blu-ray and we have the normal Blu-ray. All discs are region free. And it's come with uh, a boring blue artwork, there's nothing special to see. And as the inside artwork, we have all the characters together in one really cool artwork. I have only one bad point about this artwork and that is that the artwork is a little dark. But if I just forget that, look how beautiful this artwork is. Absolutely perfect. Really, really cool inside artwork. I haven't seen the movie yet, um, yeah I saw the movie but it was in 2D and I believe 2 or maybe 3 years already ago. I haven't seen it in 3D yet and um, I did not have the time also yet to check it out in 3D. But in a couple of weeks um, I will have summer holiday and then I have the time to watch the Avengers in 3D and then I also go rewatch Age of Ultron which I have seen in 3D but also once and I haven't seen it since the release, so that's also uh, some time ago. The next steelbook I have is from a shark movie, and as you guys know, I'm a big fan of shark movies. It's the steelbook from The Shallows. Um, I bought the steelbook online, and firstly they sent me a damaged one, but without any problems they sent me a new one without um, scratches or dents, in a perfect condition. Um, it's a glossy finish steelbook. This is the front spine and the back and as you can see it's one big picture on the outside really really nice I absolutely love the steelbook on the inside we have a digital copy and we have the disc the disc is region free and we have this really nice inside artwork um, from Minit Um, yeah, the movie, I absolutely love this movie. This is definitely one of the best shark movies I've ever seen. There are also people who are, who are really negative about this movie, but I really love um, The Shallows. Definitely worth, up, worth it to pick up. Um, yeah, you can't go wrong with the still art movie. At least, that's my opinion. The next two movies that I have are two DVDs. Um, both movies are French movies and both are from Asterix. I will try to say the original title, but as you guys know, my French is kind of terrible, so prepare for that. Uh, the first one is Asterix et Obelix Mission Cleopatra, uh, Asterix et Obelix Mission Cleopatra, Orange Dutch Asterix and Obelix Mission Cleopatra. Uh, yeah, the front of course, and on the front I already wrote some information about the audio. Here at the top, Dolby Digital 501 and DTS Digital Surround Sound, and we have this here. It's written in Dutch, but I will translate it. Uh, this DVD includes the Dutch version and the original version. And I find it a little strange that I wrote this on the front because they wrote it on the back as well as yeah, every DVD, Blu-ray, whatever has. Um, and the, the second thing is they wrote Dutch version. This movie is never dubbed to Dutch. Officially, it's Flemish, and there's a difference between Dutch and Flemish. So. 
yeah firstly I don't understand why do you put this on the front and second it's not Dutch it's Flemish and there's a difference between those languages um, on the back we have the synopsis yeah fully in Dutch of course Dutch DVD and this is the disc artwork the disc is locked region B and the artwork is exactly the same as on the front of the DVD really nice movie just put your mind to zero don't um, yeah, ignore the mistakes, put your mind to zero, and then it's a really nice movie. The next one is Asterix au Jeux Olympiques, or in English Asterix uh, at the Olympic Games, or in Dutch Asterix in the Olympische Spelen. Um, yeah, again, here this, including the Dutch and original version. Why do you put it there when it's on the back? Um, language is French, Dutch, Flemish, subtitles Dutch, there's nothing written about uh, French subtitles. We have here the synopsis, again of course in Dutch. We have some uh, bonus as well, we have the trailer, teaser and photo gallery. Um, this one is bonus as well, original theatrical trailer and filmographies. Completely forgot the bonus from uh, Mission Cleopatra. Um, yeah, also ignore the mistakes, then it's a really nice movie. And what else can I say or show you? Well, the disc artwork isn't that spectacular. What I find strange, normally in Holland they put the original title on the front. In case of English movies, they place the English title, including the French translation on the back, then you have the Dutch and French synopsis. Um, but now we have a French movie and they place everything in Dutch. Um, I don't understand it. Why when it's a French movie you get everything in Dutch and when it's an American English movie uh, you get the English title with the French title and on the back the Dutch and French synopsis. I don't understand why they did that. But um, that are the DVDs from Asterix et Obelix Mission Cleopatra and Asterix au Jeux Olympiques. Just as a number, the next movie I bought is The Magnificent Seven, uh, starring Des Washington, Ethan Hawke, and Chris Pratt. I bought this steelbook at the media market for 25 euros. Better said, my grandpa bought it as a, uh, as a gift for me. So, thanks a lot, grandpa. I'm really happy with that. Um, glossy, glossy, matte finish steelbook. Um, on the front, we see The Magnificent Seven. Not the title, but the seven characters. On the spine, we have the title, The Magnificent Seven, and on the back, yeah, I really like this artwork. Pretty simple, but yeah, it works. The outside, um, pretty nice steelbook. I, I wish there was uh, a title on the front because, yeah, there's a lot of empty space on the front, so they could place the title on the front as well, but yeah, it's not. Um, something which I see as a, as a mistake or terrible or whatever. Um, it's not wrong. Without a title, it's also yeah a nice front cover. On the inside, we have the digital code. And we have two discs. Um, one with the bullets as the artwork, which is the um, disc with the movie. And then we have the bonus disc. And as you guys can see, the artwork is yeah, really good. Just red. Love it. Not at all. And this is something, this artwork is something for a pop art steelbook and not for a steelbook where you pay 25 euros for. Um, yeah, that's, that's not good. I will um, make uh, a custom inside artwork. I haven't had the time yet to make uh, that. But the good point is. The movie was absolutely awesome. I way more like uh, the remake from Magnificent Seven is the original Magnificent Seven. Maybe also uh, because of the actors in this movie, which I also really like. I'm a big fan of Denzel Washington. Um, yeah, the inside artwork is just a no-go. In the steelbook, the movie is really great. And um, yeah, the steelbook, outside, really nice. Inside, like I said, no-go. Um, the English HMV one looks way better as this steelbook without um, without a doubt, I believe you say it like that. 
Um, yeah, I believe I said everything for the steelbook. Again, thanks a lot, Grandpa, for for the steelbook. I'm really happy with it. The next one I have, and I have to look on my list which one is the next. Um, that's the Kimchi DVD full slip from London has fallen. As you guys can see, this full slip is still sealed, which is um, for two reasons. One uh, reason is, uh, yeah, the first reason I will tell you is actually the biggest reason why I keep it sealed. Region A. On the website of Kimchi, they wrote that uh, this disc is region free, and I have a region B Blu ray player, so I can't play this disc. And the second reason is the Emery case, they wrote that on the side, so that's nothing wrong, but yeah, I don't really see a reason why I should unseal this full slip. Um, well, there's a disc in this full slip which I can't play. And Emory is never that interesting. Um, so that are the two reasons why I keep it sealed. Um, I'm of course um, really happy with this uh, full slip. Also knowing that the disc is region A and it's useless for me. Um, really nice steel, uh, steel book. Really nice full slip. Quality is really high but Kimchi, when is region A? Right, region A and not region 3. Thanks a lot. And before I forget it, my number, number 11. And this one is, I believe, limited to 400 copies and completely sold out. The next one I have uh, was really, really, really cheap. That's the collector's edition from the Expendables. Um, this collector's edition includes six art cards, including an Expendables lighter. Um, the art card you can use as um, yeah, front cover, and we have also the Blu ray and DVD in this uh, collector's edition. The title is everywhere embossed and glossy, really, really nice. We have the technical information on the bottom. Unfortunately, the director's cut uh, is not included in this edition, so I will buy that one later. But I paid only two euros and fifty cents for this edition, so. Yeah, forget about the director's cut, I will buy that one later. Uh, I believe I didn't show the back yet. Also, uh, a last point about this edition, uh, except the director's cut, is that there are no English subtitles, only Dutch, which I'm not a fan of. So, two last points, but yeah, that's it. And then we have this slipcover edition which is in the collector's edition really really nice quality is really high then we have the emery exact same covers but inside we have the DVD and the blu-ray which both come with uh, the exact same artwork I said pretty high quality but but there's a big but maybe you already saw it but you need to damage the bottom or the top to open this collection edition up. So forget about high quality because that's not pretty high quality the way you need to damage something to open it up. But yeah, for two euros and fifty cents you can't go wrong with that. The next steelbook I have is from Zavi and it's the steelbook from Finding Nemo. And the steelbook comes with a land cover which is really nice. There's of course not a lot of movements but there's a really nice 3D effect in it. And when I remove the land cover, we have the exact same cover. There's a border debossing. Unfortunately, the title is not embossed or debossed. Um, yeah, it would be really nice when they did that. Front looks really, really nice. It's uh, a, a matte finish steelbook, but with a, a shiny effect. Then we have the title on the spine. Um, I don't like that I placed the title on the spine, which sounds weird, but the steelbook from Finding Dory released earlier and that one came with uh, Dory on the spine and not the title. And this one comes with the title on the spine so it, it doesn't fit to each other uh, in the closet. So I'm not a fan of that. Normally um, I rather have the uh, title on the spine as the characters but 
When they release the other steelbook with the characters, then please release this one also with the characters, not with the title because now it doesn't fit to each other. And on the back we have Sharp Bruce with Marlin and Dory. A classic cover and I really, really like it. We flew outside. Then we have two discs inside. We have the 3D disc and we have the normal Blu-ray disc. Both are region free. Normal Blu-ray disc. And then we have this pretty nice inside artwork. I have no any, uh, idea anymore how many I paid for this uh, steelbook. But I have to say it's worth the money. Definitely. The next steelbook I have, I have to look on my list again. That's Marvel's Doctor Strange. And the steelbook, uh, yeah, we all know it's uh, based on the book in the movie. On the front we have a board of debossing and the eye here in the center is embossed which looks really nice. Uh, it's a matte finish steelbook with uh, a shiny effect. Yeah, Marvel steelbook, no title on the spine. And the back, again a border debossing and unfortunately this here in the center is not embossed or debossed. It would be really really cool. The full outside. On the inside we have two discs, yeah, boring blue uh, disc artworks. And uh, I guess I don't have to remove the discs because, yeah, we all know the inside artwork from Doctor Strange and where the discs are placed, um, that side looks almost exactly the same as this side. So, yeah, I don't really see the need to remove the discs. Um, the discs are region free. Um, about the 3D, I was absolutely not impressed by the 3D of Doctor Strange and I was like is it just me or um, and I asked a friend to watch also a couple of scenes from Doctor Strange and he said the same thing the 3D is almost almost nothing it's very minimalistic uh, it feels more like that you watch a 2D movie but that you need to watch it with glasses on if you want to see something clear is that you really see a 3D effect um, in this movie so, I was absolutely not impressed by the 3D, you can also watch it in 2D, because, um, yeah, the 3D effect is very minimalistic. And, um, yeah, about the story, I can't say anything about the story, because when I watched this movie, I was so incredibly tired that, yeah, I was just watching and I, I didn't, I was not really listening. So, I have to rewatch this uh, movie uh, for the story, and also for... The, the picture of course but especially for the story because I saw the movie but I didn't listen at all I was too tired to concentrate me uh, to watch this movie it's a nice steel book I'm not the biggest fan of it but it's really nice also with the effects and um, yeah I believe that was everything for Doctor Strange the next steel book I have I bought on the Dutch Comic Con is the steel book from Godzilla from 1989 on the front we see the eye from Godzilla, the eye is glossy and the rest of the steel is matte. Godzilla on the spine. And on the back we have a pretty nice artwork of Godzilla attacking the city, but unfortunately uh, the resolution is not that high. On the inside we have of course the disc, which has exactly the same artwork as the front of the steel book. And then we have the insert artwork, um, yeah, you see just the feet of Godzilla, not a really spectacular artwork. Uh, could be better, but what could be way, 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 way better is the resolution of this artwork. That is extremely, extremely low. So when the resolution of this instant artwork was, yeah, way higher, um, I would not make a big problem of this instant artwork. There are, of course, um, way more spectacular scenes in this movie. Uh, but, yeah, like I said, when the resolution of this instant artwork was be way higher, I will not make any problem of this artwork, but the resolution, wow. This is so low. This is so low. And the next thing I bought on the Comic Con is this poster from Samuel L. Jackson as Nick Fury in the Avengers. 
really, really nice poster. Absolutely love it. The next two book I have is completely sold out here in the Netherlands. You can't find it anymore. When I bought my copy, my media market had only three or four copies left, so I was really lucky. It's a steel book from Hexel Rich from director Mel Gibson and starring Andrew Garfield. On the front you see Andrew Garfield with an injured soldier over his shoulder and there's no title on the front cover. Then we have on the spine the Lionsgate logo at the top and Hexel Rich in the center. And we have this really nice back artwork. On the inside we have of course the disc with a different artwork, really nice artwork. And as the inside artwork from the steel we have the battlefield. Resolution could be higher but I don't see that as uh, a problem or something wrong because this steel book is really really nice. I paid only 15 euros for it and this steel book already for only 15 euros is worth the money. And if you look at the movie, wow. Wow. Um, this movie uh, impressed me. And I watched this movie together with my grandpa and he was also really impressed by this movie. We both found it a really really good movie and worth the money so if you find a steelbook for a good price 15 euros maybe a little more expensive because it's sold out here now in other countries maybe it's still available i know in germany it still has to release but if you find this movie especially in the steelbook pick it up the steelbook is worth the money the movie is worth the money absolutely awesome um, but something for the dutch people um, there are no English subtitles included, only Dutch and yeah, also maybe important for other people. Not only the Dutch people, there is only Dutch subtitles, no English. I don't understand why. Um, I read that the English subtitles as Dutch subtitles, but the truth is only Dutch subtitles, not English. But lucky enough, there's an English audio. Um, yeah, so that's the only bad point in my opinion no English subtitles but if I forget that perfect absolutely perfect and the very last steelbook that I show you is the steelbook from Rogue One a Star Wars story there are people who find the steelbook awesome there are people who find the steelbook okay and there are people who absolutely hate the steelbook I'm one of the people that like the steelbook um, I wish they used a different front and back cover uh, I'm much more a fan of the uh, front of the DVD and the Blu-ray. I wish they used those artworks as the front and back of the steelbook. But they used this uh, artwork as the front and the back. If you open the steelbook up you have one big picture. But yeah, it could be way, way better. On the spine we have all the characters. In other countries uh, they have the title on the spine. But I'm happy that they placed the characters on the spine. Which sounds maybe weird because a few minutes ago I said something about uh, the spine of Finding Nemo but the spine of The Force Awakens here in Holland has also the characters on the spine so this fits together in the closet unfortunately not with steelbooks from uh, episode 1 to 6 because they all here in Holland have the title on the spine but this spine fits to the spine from uh, The Force Awakens and I hope the Star Wars steelbooks in the future also will have the characters on the spine the steelbooks of course here in Holland because that will fit together in the closet and inside we have a bonus disc, we have the normal blu-ray disc and we have the 3D disc with Darth Vader as the artwork and I think you guys all know the insert artwork from uh, this steelbook so I will not remove the disc um, the six main characters from this movie are the inside artwork and yeah that artwork I really really like and that where all these tools that I bought in the previous four months. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to thank you guys for watching and check you guys next time.